Hey guys, Demon097 here, Austin awesome Brand Guy Region War. Rah, 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 and welcome back to another video. Now, this video is going to be another story time, and I have not done one of these in like a year. So, this one's going to be a very special one, and it's going to take you through my life in high school. Now, specifically, the life of how I was around, like, you know, in the streets or well in my case the part where i was out there but the point is i was around now let's take it back to freshman year that's where it all started i was talking to a girl let's say her name is asia now me and asia we went way back well not really way back we were friends since eighth grade we started talking in freshman year around the end basically well actually more like not really the end but throughout the whole year but i wasn't really getting anywhere with her so all i did was stop talking to her and i began to have a major crush on her friend let's say her friend name is Aaliyah. i had a major crush on Aaliyah, and you guys know when you actually like the girl things are different like you, it's hard for you to talk to them well that's what it was for me i was like very shy and timid around her and she knew i liked her too and she used to mess with me you know like she would walk up to me and be like hi tomorrow and stuff like that and she knew that would like mess with me i never did anything with her because i'm naturally a shy kid that's just how i am but if it's like a girl i don't like at all or anything like that i just want entertainment i can easily just go up to her and start talking simple as that but this Leah girl it was different because of how she liked her i never did anything with her until sophomore year but that's going to be later on in the story now i don't know how long the story is it might be two or three parts but we're gonna keep it up for as long as I can. But the summer going into sophomore year, I was talking to another girl. Let's say this girl name is Kat. Now, I met Kat on this talking app called House Party. You know, it was basically like another FaceTime, but more ghetto in a way. I met her on that app through another friend too. But me and her started talking and everything like that. And things started to get a little bit out of hand. You know, she was, let's say toxic back then i if i knew what i knew now oh my gosh i would put her in her place but back then you know i was like a little simp kid you know well i wasn't really being a simp simp but it was just like you know i was letting her do whatever if it was me now i would not be having that like i can't remember the stuff she was doing because it was so long ago i actually forgot she existed until i started making the story in fact i didn't even put her into the outline of this story time i'll even show you guys uh oh shoot i can't show you guys nothing because i got actual names in here <laughs> but basically the point is she was toxic now me and her stopped talking and everything like that and she moved on to a friend of mine now that friend of mine was going through some of the stuff i was well not really I, was, I went i had it the hardest but after a while they stopped talking then they start talking again and we start talking again me and the girl so basically she was talking to me and my friend at the same time and it was very funny too because we both knew and the thing that was funny about it was how if she says something we'd be like yo she say that to you and the other would be like yeah she sent something one of us would be like yo did she send this to you the other would be like yeah so that was the funny thing about it she thought she was playing both of us but nah we were just using her for entertainment <laughs> because it was really funny but she started talking to both of us and moved on to my other friend and they start dating so i was like okay cool that's the story of them then after her i went into high school and things got a little hectic as you guys may know sophomore year is when i lost my v card and it was to a girl let's say the girl's name is emma i lost it to a girl named emma i made a story of time about that already and you guys can go check it out i'm not sure if it's still up or not though me and emma we called it quits now here's the reason why we called it quits while i was dating her well let's not say dating because i don't really like to claim people especially if they weren't even a real girlfriend i've never had a real girlfriend unless we're talking about the girl i'm dating now that's probably the closest thing to an actual girlfriend i've ever had dude the fact of that being said i can't claim these other girls so i never dated anyone if anyone asked i was just very immersed with them now as you guys may know i was very immersed with emma we uh 
called it quits. Now here's why. At the same time I was immersed with Emma, I started talking to another girl. It's not like I was really cheating. I was exploring my options, you know? You know, you can't be commit committed, excuse my language. You can't be committed to these other people if you're not even really dating them, you know? So that's what it's like in my head. So let's just say I was exploring my options with another girl named Naya. Me and Naya also met on that house party app as well, the ghetto face. We met her through Asia. You guys remember Asia from earlier and in this story, the girl I was talking to freshman year? Yeah, she introduced me to Naya through that app. Now me and I, we started talking heavily and heavily and heavily, but she was much older. Now I was like 15, she was like 18, I believe. I didn't really know how to talk to her. Like this girl is a whole woman compared to me. I was still like a little kid. Like I still like toys. I had my 16th birthday at Chuck E. Cheese. I'm still a little kid in my head. Basically, it was hard talking to her, but I kept it up. Now, we meet up at the football game. We were basically just chilling and vibing with each other. You know, like, I have my arm around her. She had her arm around my waist because she's really short. But, you know, we were really just chilling. You know, everything was going cool. Remember earlier in the story, I mentioned the girl I had a crush on at the end of freshman year named Aaliyah. Aaliyah was there too. Now, Aaliyah sees us vibing and everything. She's like, hey, like, he's mine. Give him here. And then Naya's like, nope, he's mine. And, you know, they're just pulling me back and forth. It's, it's like one is pulling my arm, the other is pulling my other arm. But, the thing is, Asia, Aaliyah, and Naya, they were all friends. So basically, how I also had some dealings with Asia, she comes and she's like, oh no, I want him too. So yeah, there were like three of these girls on me. I was like, hey, I got love for everybody. The more the merrier, you know, like you can share. You know, I, I wasn't my like i didn't care at all you know i was enjoying myself i had a nice day that day like that game was so fun but while all this is going on one kid sees me now this kid was cool with emma he sees all this going on and he's like yo he basically says to himself that he's gonna run back and tell emma and that's exactly what he did another brother bro he went and snitched on me like my own brother like i that's that's <laughs> That still gets to me to this day. <laughs> They're really snitched. So basically, that's how me and Emma stopped talking. I also stopped talking to Naya and everything. Like nothing went anywhere with any of those girls that night, but I stopped talking to Naya at some point. I'm really not sure. Like she just stopped talking to me. I don't know what was happening. Well, actually, Asia ended up telling me that she felt like I was playing her or something like that, which I don't know if I was or not. I'm not gonna lie. I really don't. But the summer going into 11th grade, you know, everything calmed down sophomore year. The summer going into 11th grade, now that was a crazy summer. Now here's why. I met this one girl from France, like she lives in France, but she was just down here for that summer, just visiting her family. I actually met her through another friend. Now, let's say this girl from France is Veronica. Me and Veronica, we ended up getting really close that summer. Basically, really good friends. But we also had some benefits in there as well. Now, I remember when me and Veronica first actually started conversating, things kicked off right off the bat. You know, like we were very flirtatious with each other. I guess you could say something like that. I remember, mind you, I'm still in 11th grade. I'm a junior. My mom, she gets everyone one room for themselves. I remember I was in my room. Veronica was in the area at the time, you know, cause like I see her story. I was like, yo, I'm out here too. Come up through the room. She said, like, okay, come get me. I'm like, all right, cool, whatever. I go get her and we walk back and everything. We get up to the room. Like I said, things be kicking off right at the back. That's exactly what happened. It kicked off. I can't go into the full detail, but it kicked off, you know what I'm saying? That same night, I started talking to another girl. Let's say her name is Jenna. The next week after the whole hotel thing happening and shenanigans or whatever, I guess, I don't know. The next week after that, I'm texting Jenna and she's like, yo, come over. I got some bud. We can chill everything, you know? I never pass up free bud. My mom was away and I had the house to myself. Now, what happened was I went there, you know, we were chilling. We start smoking and everything like that, arcing all that. And then she goes down to town, you know? I can't get into detail because I don't want to say too much on YouTube 
if for those who's watching i still don't want to say too much but she goes down like as as i have this kush in my hand you know and like i was like yo i feel like a rapper like life was nice you know i, I was bringing girls up to the hotel room i was getting some brain while i was hitting the kush life was really good not gonna lie she also didn't even let me walk home she actually got her older sister to give me a ride home i was like yo life is so good like i got them all on a lot like this is nice you know me and the girl from france veronica i accidentally all right see veronica started acting crazy like i told her about that story and everything then she started acting crazy like i was actually dating her and stuff and i was like yo like we're not dating we're actually friends remember and she didn't care she started acting like a nut so what i tried to do is i tried to pass her off to somebody i tried to pass her i was like yo like you trying to take this girl off my hand because she a nut bro he was like yeah i got you say her snap i was like okay cool he added her she was like so i'm working with this is the one and only time I've ever sent nudes from someone to another person. I sent him her boobies. I'm still very childish, I know. I sent her her boobies and he sends them to her and he's like, yo, my man Damar not trying to mess with you no more. That's not what I wanted him to do. I wanted him to try to talk to her, you know, so he can try and get some cheeks. I like bro oh my gosh I, that still makes me mad to this day too but we stopped talking and everything like that and i probably could have gotten some more action from her if he never did any of that bull crap but you know it's, it is what it is after that whole summer we go into junior year now junior year was also oh my god junior year was really crazy too but you guys won't find out why until the next story time because i'm gonna have to shorten it down into a second part maybe in three parts by the time it's supposed like i was planning for this to only be two parts but it might actually be three parts because i didn't even finish everything that's in part one now i'm gonna have to go now because i don't want the video to be too long because that you know that decreases the flow of viewers you know so if i can get at least 20 views and five likes on this i'm not asking for too much you know I have like 200 something subscribers. I'm sure I can get 20 views. If I can get 20 views and five likes on this video, I'll release the second part. If you guys do it this week, then I'll release the video next Friday. But until then, ram out.